what is up guys welcome back to another star wars video here today where i'm just going to be going over some really disappointing news uh unfortunately don't have anything positive to be talking about today this is really just awful and i'm going to get right into it you see the title of the video tim morrison is uh it doesn't look like he's coming back to star wars anytime soon maybe not at all hopefully maybe that's an over exaggeration of how bad this is going to be but definitely we don't we're not going to be seeing boba anytime soon uh tamara did some i uh, did an interview where he talked about uh his own show he talked about the book of boba fett of course he talked about mando season three and he pretty much just threw it all out there with how disney never reached out to him about season three uh for mando even though they had reportedly there's been talks about him showing up uh and then he specifically mentioned how he, he thought he was gonna show up because mando came in and stole two episodes out of his show so he thought at least he'd be showing up with all of the other mandos in uh season three of the mandalorian but this is just really sad to see and really disappointing especially for someone like tamara morrison who's been around for so long he has represented his character to a significantly high elite degree and he has so much passion for his character which a lot of actors just see their their roles as just that just the role to get it over with and they're done with it but you have people like Ewan as Obi-Wan and Tamara as Boba and all the clones who truly love the characters they have and they want to come back and and do them justice every single time and this isn't the first time Tem has spoken about his disappointment with uh the book of Boba Fett but let's just break down what exactly some of the quotes that he said and then we'll move on from there so without having to go through the entire article i just pulled out a f uh, a few short paragraphs which kind of summarize some of the juiciest points i think so he said i was supposed to be in the mandalorian season three but nobody rang me i was waiting for the phone call in new zealand waiting and wanting to give up so that's already starting off pretty damn sad i mean this dude was he's ready to go he's ready to get back into it he had thought that it was going to be book of boba fett transitioning into mando season three and he's going to show up in at least some way and he was just waiting on to hear back from him and disney never reached out so he went on to say well that mando guy stole a few chapters of my book it was painful watching him turn up with some black new lethal sword and the way he turned up in my book of boba fett he just destroyed everybody I'm sure this guy is uh, ruining my show, but I couldn't say anything. I'm not the writer, so I have to bear it, I guess. Like, damn, he is just slamming them, and rightfully so. While those two episodes of Mando and the Book of Boba Fett were two great episodes, and I thought they, they were damn near better than anything we got in Season 3 of The Mandalorian, they were clearly shoehorned in there and forced in there, and just kind of showed off they they didn't have a full plan for a boba fett show they didn't have <laughs> enough space to fill so they literally gave mando two season 2.5 episodes in the middle of the boba fett show and boba had no presence at all in those episodes i think he shows up for maybe like a minute and a half total in both of those episodes and he has maybe like five six lines if that the third quote from Tamora is that I think there is a few a few changes going on. We also come under the big umbrella known as Disney now too. So it's one of the many previous few conversations we had in LA. The dialogue began like, oh look, we have a few changes. We're having a few cutbacks. All right, so basically what he's saying is they pretty much told him, we, we don't have time for you right now or we're, we're, you're not in the plans right now. They're having some cutbacks. They can afford to go and make another season of Andor, which has the most stunning uh, visual qualities of any of the shows they've produced. But nobody watched it, and it was boring as hell. Like maybe you like that. There's not. There's nothing wrong with if you like that boring, slow storytelling, barely any aliens, Star Trek ass Star Wars. There's the, of course you can like that if you want to. But the fact of the matter is, nobody watched it, it didn't do well numbers-wise, and it didn't resonate with a lot of people. It has a very large, very, 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 very vocal minority. 
very vocal minority of people that scream from the mountaintops how much they love the show. And there's nothing wrong with that, other than the fact that it didn't do as well as people love to scream down your throat that it did. But these other shows, the Kenobi show, the show people were looking forward to, the Book of Boba Fett, another show people were so hyped for, get the short end of the stick, low production time, low production value, shitty looking visuals. It, it It's just, it doesn't make any sense why Disney just doesn't give two dams about their legacy characters, but the characters that came in under their umbrella, they give all, all the time of day to. And just one more thing, just to throw it on top of all this other stuff. Star Wars Celebration this year, they had this whole collage of character portraits from all of different, well, across all their eras of Star Wars, uh, with a lot of ones from the sequels and, and more recent years with like the TV shows and stuff, uh, with Omega, like all this cool stuff. But no Boba, a character who spawn, who spans across almost all of the eras of Star Wars, but the sequels, no Boba panel. And beyond the character of Boba himself, we don't know if uh, Tamara is going to get to reprise his role as Rex or Cody or any of these other clones. Because the Kenobi show, in, a, in some early on iterations, and what would have been by far a cooler concept, was going to be a buddy show with Tamara and, and Obi-Wan as Tamara comes back as Cody and pretty much like we see him uh, be kind of step away from the empire in the bad batch and originally cody was going to be seeking out obi-wan because he feels like shit for what he did and they were going to have a little buddy style adventures on staying on tatooine which would have been better for canon it would have been better for the character of obi-wan and it just would have been a better show overall so tamara has been getting getting shit on well, for lack of a better word, from Disney for a little while. Like, they, I don't know, like, they, like they have something against the guy. Just the most wholesome and passionate guy out there, and they, they just keep doing this to him. It's ridiculous. I just don't know what to say about this anymore. It's really hard to be optimistic about this stuff going forward. Ahsoka is the one thing I'm really just waiting out on to see what Dave Filoni gives us, because he really doesn't have any bars on his name. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, may, people does, don't like that he retconned some stuff in books, but okay, so what? To, it wasn't anything significant. It was like some Ahsoka stuff in the books, but I'm going to give Ahsoka a chance. Mando season three, pretty lackluster. Book of Boba Fett, overwhelmingly lackluster. And just hearing this is just sad and disappointing. And that's just the new norm for Star Wars, I guess. And I don't want to report on stuff like this, but it's just the fact of the matter. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And on a positive note, Transformers trailer is dropping in three days. So if you're interested in those type of videos, I will be breaking that down as soon as the trailer comes out. And at least that's something to look forward to in all of the darkness that is Star Wars. But Transformers video dropping soon. But likes, dislikes, anything is appreciated. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. And until next time, peace.